Chapter One: A Rich Man Disappears. Charles Hatfield Baker the Third was a very rich man. There wasn't a richer man in New York City. He was the boss of a large number of important companies. He owned very large gardens and houses in the country. He had boats and horses and an airplane. But he was a nice man. He liked the everyday things of life: a good cup of coffee, a smile from a pretty girl, a walk through the park on a fine autumn day. He had all these things on this Wednesday morning. He drank two cups of very good Italian coffee for breakfast. His daughter Julia smiled and said, "Goodbye. Have a nice day, Dad." And he left his flat for the walk to his office. He always walked through Central Park to his office on Columbus Street. He went in the lift down forty floors to the street door. "Good morning, Mr. Baker," said Angelo, the doorman. "Have a good day." "Thank you, Angelo. You too," he answered. "See you this evening." But Angelo didn't see him that evening. He never saw him again, because Mr. Baker never arrived at his office. Between Central Park and the offices of Hatfield International, Charles Hatfield Baker the Third disappeared. The police tried to find him. They looked everywhere for him in the park. They started early in the morning, and finished late at night. But there was nothing. They couldn't find anything. They gave three big police dogs his old blue shirt.